my favorite lamb curries is a Fijian lamb curry. Now don't be alarmed by the name because the flavors are very Indian in nature. It has something to do with the Indians settling in Fiji and creating this starry creation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as we get to creating it. A hot Dutch oven gets a slathering of some regular cold press oil. About 25 to 30 mils. And into that, we're going to put a lot of seeds and allow it to temper. So half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and one fourth teaspoon of fenugreek. Just allow it all to temper away. Spluttering and creating quite a havoc. In goes three red onions sliced up. You know, saute this. Along with 12 cloves of garlic minced up and 2 inches of ginger finely chopped up as well. Just saute all this together now. With the onions translucent, now it's time to infuse it with some dehydrated spice. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of red chili powder, and two tablespoons of this gorgeous Indian spice. That's the beautiful, beautiful Indian garam masala. Put that in and just allow it to infuse. Now you don't want this to burn. So what you do is you take about 50 mils of water and allow it to subtly cook and let the spices infuse and bloom in this pot. As you slowly begin to see some oil seeping out, it's time to take a kg of lamb and put that right in. And just allow it to now coat with the spice blend. Well coated and searing away, in goes four or five dehydrated baby bay leaves and some sea salt. Just keep stirring this away. Half kg Yuko Gold potatoes going in, just peeled and cut into half. You can allow that to coat with the spice in the pot. Sizzling away and what a perfect sear it gets. Now is the time to take two cups of hot water and just pour that right in. Allow it all to mix together. And now we're going to cook this on the slowest possible simmer covered for 40 minutes. Simmering away 45 minutes later. All we are going to do now is take some tomatoes, nearly two or three of them finely chopped up and put this in. And you add this now so that you allow the mutton to cook well and anything acidic is not going to let it get really soft. So you cook this now for another 5 to 10 minutes and it's time to garnish. Garnish this with some finely chopped coriander leaves and my gorgeous fusion lamb curry is ready. All this requires to be paired with either with some steamed rice or some roti. Yes, you got that right. They also enjoy roti. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to leave a note below.